move on to the Mojo Hero Award, an accolade that reflects the work of an artist whose achievements are truly close to the heart of the magazine itself. In many respects, this is our most heartfelt and intimate award, if such a thing exists. The distinguished roll call of previous recipients of this award include Roy Harper, Roger McGuinn, Prince Buster, The Only Ones, Motorhead, and The Pretty Things. And this year's winner is equal, equally influential and distinguished and loved by the magazine. Celebrating as he does his 30th year as a recording artist with the release of his brand new album, Variety, which is out this week. To tell us more about the artist in question, please welcome to the stage, well, one of the finest singers to emerge in the last 20 years, really. Please welcome from Anthony and the Johnsons, the titan of tremulous song that is Anthony Hegarty. Thanks. What was that? I think I just broke the microphone. <laughs> Okay, hello. Um, okay, I just have a very short thing I wrote. Okay. Um, Nina Simone once famously reprimanded one of her musicians with the utterance, don't put nothing in it unless you feel it. In the early 80s, there were a handful of British singers who poured out their hearts, soaking the cool electronic tracks of the era with a riveting soulfulness. One of those singers was part of a band who had a massive hit on the outset before beginning a journey through the heights and the depths of culture and subculture that has continued to this day. When he was told to tone down his appearance for Top of the Pops, he showed up with so much eyeliner and so many bracelets that he could barely lift his wrists to sneer at the television viewers while simultaneously pouring out his transcendent heart. At the height of Soft Cell's popularity, the singer took a turn reminiscent of Lou Reed when he released Berlin, and he started a 10-piece flamenco orchestra and released an album called Torment and Toreros, one of the most classic and underrated masterpieces of the 80s, which was famously reviewed by NME as being so bleak that it should include a razor blade with each copy. And I remember as a 13-year-old rereading over and over again a quote from this singer and the winner of this year's award. He said to the magazine that he didn't much care if he hit the notes on any given take, that it was the feeling that mattered. Tonight's winner uh, defined more than any other artist the musician that I would become. Let's the winner of this year's Hero Award is Mark Arbent. I'm lost again and I'm on the run Looking for love in a sad song With your Avenger eyes and your cat <laughs> Okay, here we go uh, Hang on, there we go, right There we are Right, <laughs> you know, thank you very much, this means so much to me, I can't, I can't tell you, really. I never thought I would win an award or get an award. I've never won an award, except I got the kind of uh, book reading and swimming award in the Cubs. <laughs> Not at the same time, but... <laughs> and thank you, thank you so much, Anthony, for coming and, and giving this to me, because um, I admire you so much, and it means a lot that you've given it to me. And I, I've never really thought of myself as a, as a hero, really, more like a singing hustler kind of um, ducking and diving and dodging and dealing and dodging the bullets and hoping that I just get away with it. Um, but I've been doing it for 30 years, and I'm still here, and um, I want to thank a lot of people who've really supported me through the music business, and there's quite a few of them here tonight. I've been on nearly every record label, and, uh, <laughs> and, a, few of the <laughs> and a few of them have gone bankrupt after I've been on them, so I'm warning you, Barney. Um, and <laughs> so thank you to all those people who've supported me and been part of my journey and part of my story. And um, I'd like to thank all my musical heroes, of course, and I'm thinking of people like Peter Hamill, of course, over there. Yeah. And other musical heroes, wherever they, they may be, who've been also part of making me a hero, if that's what I am. And um, I just want to thank as well, more than anybody else, Mark Langthorne, my manager, 
who, um, without whom I wouldn't have got this far, really. So thank you, Mark Langthorne. He doesn't think of me as a hero. He thinks of me more as a pain in the ass. Um, but um, thank you very much, and I'm, I'm really touched by this and um, quite overwhelmed. So thank you, Mojo. Thank you so much, and thank you, Anthony. Thank you, everybody. Show.